Is everyone ready for some crazy, wacky, made-up Hollywood conspiracies? Because I know I am. Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now November 17th of 2023, and given that we have a lot of things going on right now within the Hollywood bubble, such as the failure of the Marvels by Disney and Marvel Studios, oh. as well as the upcoming Hunger Games, the, the Ballad of Songbirds and... Which already failed by the way snakes by lionsgate which by the way is already getting below average reviews from critics and i must be specific by the critics uh side of things with that film but there's a lot of things happening also with the future of marvel a lot of delays from the 2024 releases getting shifted until 25 and beyond this is my wait currently all of this is actually factual and 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 true Mike, are you feeling okay? Is it... Blink twice if someone has you hostage. Zero, subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike01. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Mm. Now, the one major thing revolving around Rachel Zegler is that we know that she is the one that... Insane. She's insane, yeah. ...directly caused all the Snow White drama. Through. All of the Disney issues that they actually were dealing with as a result of her PR disaster, based on the comments that she made about Snow Through. White 1937, and the comments that she actually made about Andrew Burnap quite Dude, those... Th those videos are gonna be legendary. Those videos are gonna go down in history. Like a case study, it's gonna be beautiful. Possibly getting cut from the movie because that's Hollywood Baby. Now, what's interesting about this, though, has a lot to do with Rachel Zegler and her overall her overall position in Hollywood. We know Actually. that many studios have been dropping her like flies that want nothing to do with her at all. I mean, they want nothing to do with her, but they still had her in, you know, the 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 failed Hunger Games movie. Uh, they, every, they, everyone keeps saying this. Oh, she's gone from Hollywood. Oh, she, she's done. But, you know, she kind of just keeps creeping back in, you know? It's like someone didn't leave the, uh, the door shut. And they left a small crack open and she, like, slithers in as every other Hollywood star that's gonna get fired any moment now because they're just, you know, a non-likable person. You know, we, we, we hear this all the time, right? And essentially just banishing her from ever getting an acting gig, period, the end. This is why her IMDb really holds no significant blockbusters ahead by any major studio, per se. Now, what's interesting about all of this has a lot to do with what... I wonder if he picks these pictures on purpose, because, man... They, they, man, can we... When will we have a Snow White where the, you know, Snow White is actually the hot one and, and, the, and the evil queen that's very much uptight about her being hotter is actually not five times hotter than Snow White. I wish for a simple time, you know? Rachel Zegler is doing in response. Now, with Zegler currently dealing with multiple Hollywood studios that either fired her or blacklisted her as a result of the Snow White drama, and how Disney let her go from multiple projects, including Pirates of the Caribbean, one major development <laughs> has to do with how Rachel Zegler is now taking action against the- Yo, so what's happening now? Rachel Zegler was supposed to be a Pirates of the Caribbean star? <laughs> This made of dude, it's crazy. It's you know, it's almost semi believable because Pirates of the Caribbean could happen at some point. So, dude, say what you will, he makes of the best stuff ever, okay? Because it, it's all almost believable, you know. If you don't know too much, you're probably thinking, wait, 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 this this sounds believable because yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean kind of sound believable even. The studios after getting her fired from them behind the scenes. A significant update to this ongoing drama is that Rachel and her team, including her agent and manager, are blaming studios such as Sony, Paramount, Disney, and even Lionsgate, where Zegler is now attempting to take legal action somehow, some way, against some of these studios, since she was reportedly signed on for multiple projects via a contract from those like Sony and Lionsgate. Though this legal action is most likely to go nowhere, 
Ziegler is moving forward of doing this with her team and is playing the race card on some of these studios. I... I love that he continues the sh the thing, you know? He, he started this a while ago that, you know, if she's gonna take action against all of these studios, she's trying to sue them. She's making a war room. <laughs> she's contacting Andrew Tate for advice. <laughs> I love this so much. It... I love that he continues on in the best part. He actually... Dude, Disney, learn some writing from good old Mikey boy here, okay? He at least starts a storyline and he finishes it. Now, admittedly, he finishes with a giant nothing that it's... Well, probably not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> but at least he finishes it. And going by fan toxicity as the main cause for some of these studios making their decision to fire Rachel Zegler. For starters, Rachel was set to portray a new... But the, the, the thing is, by the way, um, if you have a contract that mag that pro dude, if you have some kind of magical contract that uh, signs you up to play in the next, like, 15 upcoming biggest movies of all time, like Pirates of the Caribbean, bro... Even if you get fired, you're still getting a literal probably hundreds of millions in, uh, in compensation because, you know, it's, it's you, no one's ever signing a contract like that and just, you, you know, having no clauses that protect yourself, okay? That's not happening ever. So, yeah, that, that's kind of a little bit of a fail because Mikey doesn't know how that thing works, but, you know, whatever. A superhero character in a planned spin-off film by Sony to the upcoming Madam Web film. The title and details of this project are currently mysterious, however set within their own Spider-Verse, so to speak. Second is that- Okay, so Madam Web is coming and Rachel Zegler gets her own Spider-Man movie because of it. <laughs> Gate dropped Paramount, this of course, or dropped Zegler from those roles after Paramount did. From a role that she was signed on for by contract this was going to be a new action thriller that is still going to be announced by this march with a brand new lead in the cast something that zegler was reportedly infuriated about when she learned the news of her getting fired via paramount and lionsgate completely after all the disney drama the same goes as well specifically by lionsgate after they dropped her from a very big and important role that she was promised to begin production on by the middle of next year that came as a result of her contacts and connections after filming the hunger games the ballad of songbirds and snakes with them now guys let me just stop here for a moment now the thing about rachel zegler that i think is absolutely important to take note of is that this is somebody that is very much like brie larson amber heard phoebe waller bridge and among others out there that are very much self-absorbed and really too wrapped up in their head about their current status as an actress in Hollywood. Zegler really is jumping way too ahead, way too fast. Don't put my wife Brie Larson in your fil fil filthy, between these filthy creatures. Because she's so early on in her career, if you even want to call it a career at this point, no. every single <laughs> movie that she has been in so far has been a box office failure. West Side Story, Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods, and even Shazam now, 2? Lionsgate is anticipating that the Songbirds and Snakes film is, not, is actually going to underperform as opposed to their previous expectations. Now, whether or not that's going to become a flop... <laughs> Imagine your previous expectations were that your movie is going to underperform by default. That's funny. That's good. Based on how big of a budget their actual movie was, is really all highly dependent on repeat viewings and how many people actually go ahead into the theaters and watch this thing. Now, here's the thing about this, too, that I think a lot of people need to be aware of, is that a lot of people have been wondering, how in the world is Zegler getting all of these roles and all these offers? Well, it has a lot to do with her <laughs> agent. Actually, they don't think anyone's wondering that. Manager who have been relentlessly pushing for her to become the new it girl and i cannot stress this enough you can't force an actress to become a new it girl in hollywood it just happens on its own naturally mm -hmm. kind of like jenna ortega or in the past cameron diaz among other examples out there it just happens 
You can't just make it happen like flicking a light switch. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> so that's it what her team does, is actually. now really going against these studios for, is that they are blaming fan toxicity as the main decision as to why they dropped her from all these roles. And like I said before, Rachel Zegler, not a big surprise, pulling the race card about why they are letting her go, which is just completely false and really something that studios probably would never do, especially studios like Paramount, Sony, and Lionsgate. So anyway, what's interesting about this further is that both her agent and manager are already preparing to create a plan of legal action against at least two or <laughs> out of three of these studios, apart from Disney, as some of which had, of course, her mo more closely involved toward production. Though this is likely not to go in a serious path from for Paramount at least, Lionsgate and or Sony, some of the projects that Zegler was fired from the were cancelled as it turns it. out, the while it. others are set to recast and get someone else Ugh. on board, much like Disney did with- Like, how, 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 how do you expect to succeed when th this is who we want? I mean, damn, I have a better shot at Hollywood as a woman. They're Pirates of the Caribbean reboot, with at least one film now holding Jenna Ortega instead of Rachel Zegler as the main lead character in that film. So I don't know if you guys have been aware about this. We talked about this. Zegler was connected to the Pirates reboot film. She got let go from that after all the Snow White drama. Jenna Ortega is involved in at least one film so far right now. She was going to be involved in a multi-film contract. She shot down multiple movies by Disney, and rightfully so, by the way. I don't even know why she's dealing with the first film, but time will tell if she jumps off board of this project. But what's interesting about that... Okay, it feels like... For... Man, this one was not that juicy, Mike Zed. Usually his fantasies are a little bit better. Okay, usually his fantasies are somewhat more fun. But man... <laughs> Dude, he makes a more cohesive story than Disney. You gotta give him that. He legitimately is a better writer than Disney could ever get, probably. Oh my god, that that just speaks volumes, honestly. Anyway, this was Quizzer said, said, thanks for watching, subscribe, haven't thought any, have a nice day, bye-bye.